So we in the West have kind of got this whole toilet thing covered, but have we? A product that's taking the Western bathrooms by storm deems we should poo more like how they poo in the developing world. We should squat. If you're not squatting, you're at risk of constipation and hemorrhoids. So says the makers of Squatty Potty. This plastic contraption thing that looks like a toilet for toddlers, which is currently the rage right now, even in our producer Beck's bathroom. She didn't put it there, her housemate did, which compelled her to come to me with the question. But like, if I just want to use a regular toilet, will I get hemorrhoids? The Squatty Potty was originally invented by Robert Edwards. What does it do? Well, the marketing declares that sitting on the toilet is not as beneficial or as effective as squatting. Squatty Potty aims to improve the quality and ease of your bowel movements while on the toilet. How? It lifts your legs up, resulting in a squatting type position rather than sitting position while moving your bowels. Hmm, at first glance, I was skeptical. It's intended to make us more natural. And this is a common marketing Ploy, when we see the equation of natural equals good with total disregard for reality. And we explain this more in our chemicals are awesome video, links in the description. Squatty Potty makes very specific claims about the research and anatomical benefits, testable claims. So is there science in the Squatty Potty? Well, raising your legs can be a mechanism to improve your bowel movements. When you bear down on the toilet, you're performing what's called a velsa velva maneuver. You're forcing expiration against either the closed glottis or contracting strongly your thoracic and abdominal muscles, increasing intra-abdominal pressure. Similar changes can occur when a person lifts a heavy weight whilst holding their breath. The Squatty Potty website lists several research papers supporting their science. There's the Japanese study, the influence of body position on defecation in humans, which is a small scale study with six people. There's no control group, meaning they didn't compare people who squatted with people who didn't. And there's no blinding, which means the results weren't randomized. Interestingly, the full squat is considered the best, which is not the Squatty Potty position. So I'm not sure why they put the study in as scientific proof, but anyway. Then there's the Iranian study, impact of ethnic habits on defecographic measurements. The study showed that people who squat, like Indonesian people, have larger rectal openings, poop shoots, when they're in a squatting position compared to the normal sitting position. But this study has two major flaws. If you use a population that squats to move their bowels, and then you place them on a first world toilet bowl, as they've done here, you're actually disrupting their accustomed maneuver. You would need a control group of Europeans to do the same test to realistically support superior evacuation. Then there's also the American study, comparison of straining during defecation in three positions. Researchers used a subjective questionnaire to have subjects rate their straining. On a scale of one being very easy and 10 being very difficult, how would you rate your experience of defecating? The findings were similar to the other studies. The full squat results in the lowest straining. Also, the research is flawed and not very compelling. No one has replicated these studies. And interestingly, the results do not support the website's assertion that the squatty potty is superior to squatting fully. Anyway, let's compare this research to what the product claims to do. One, that it prevents constipation. The squatty potty suggests that you're constipated because you sit. Not true. Four to 10 million Americans have chronic constipation and as many as 63 million people are suffering at any one time from occasional constipation. But constipation in the West is more prevalent in women, non-whites and those over 60. And these aren't the only people who sit. Two, it gives you a healthier colon. More specifically, the marketing says better bowel movements equals better health. But if you're not in a risk category and you don't suffer from constipation, then the Squatty Potty can't help you. Even if you are constipated, rather than getting a Squatty Potty, it would be better to invest in more exercise and better food. None of the research showed that squatting people had a healthier colon either. So in conclusion, there is no evidence to suggest that constipation is solved by the Squatty Potty. But what do you guys think? Would you give Squatty Potty a try? Let us know in the comments below. Maybe if you ask real nice, Beck will let you try hers. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching SciQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.